Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi, football referee in Germany in Munich. Today and in this video, I'll explain to you about Law 14 in football, which is about the penalty kick. At the end of this video, if you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button, and also share my video with your friends. Now let's start the video. First, I would like to explain to you about the penalty procedure. I mean, uh, the ball uh, must be stationary on the penalty mark. I mean here. And the player taking the penalty kick must be clearly identified. For example, here this player will kick the ball and the goalkeeper must remain on the goal line uh, facing the kicker between the goal post without touching the goal post crossbar or goal net until the ball has been kicked. All the players except kicker and goalkeeper must be at least 9.15 meters from the penalty mark uh, inside the field of play and outside the penalty area. Uh, when the ball is uh, kicked, the goalkeeper must have at least part of one foot on the goal line. The ball is in play when it's uh, kicked and clearly moves. Uh, the kicker must not play the ball again until it has touched another player. The penalty kick is completed when the ball stops moving, goes out of play, or the referee stops play for any offense. And also match, uh, match uh, could be extended for a penalty kick to be taken and completed. Number two offenses and sanctions during the penalty kick. Uh, if attacking player, I mean the player who uh, kicks the ball, uh, does an offense, and he or she scores a goal. In this case, a penalty is retaken. I mean, goal is not acceptable. But if he or she doesn't score a goal, in this case, indirect free kick for defending team. And if a defending player uh, does an offense and uh, attacking player uh, scores a goal, in this case a goal will be acceptable, but if he or she doesn't score a goal, in this case penalty is retaken. If a defending player and attacking player, they both uh, do some offenses, in this case it doesn't matter for goal and no goal, in both cases penalty is retaken. If a goalkeeper, uh, I mean if offense uh, occurs by goalkeeper, in this case, if uh, attacking player scores a goal, goal will be acceptable. But if uh, attacking player doesn't score a goal, it depends. If a uh, goalkeeper doesn't save the ball, for example, ball goes outside, in this case, penalty is not retaken. But if the goalkeeper saved the ball, in this case, uh, penalty is retaken and warning for goalkeeper and caution for any further offenses. If a goalkeeper and kicker offend at the same time, again, it doesn't matter for goal and no goal. I mean, indirect free kick and caution for kicker. If ball kicked backward, again, for goal and no goal, indirect free kick for defending team. And for illegal and fainting, in this case, again, it doesn't matter for goal and no goal. I mean, indirect free kick and caution for kicker. And at the end, for rank kicker, again, it doesn't matter for goal and no goal, indirect free kick and caution for rank kicker. Hope you found this video useful. At the end, if you have any comment or question, you can write it below in comment section. If you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And at the end, please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.